Okay, so my friend showed me this on Twitter the other day. Forbes released a list of the 25 greatest R&B artists of all time. And so, I mean, I think that this list is a hot mess. I disagree with a lot of the placements on here. Like Frick Ocean a lot. I don't think that he should be on this list among others. Here is the list that my friends and I put together. So it was like five of us putting this list together. It was really a thing of collaboration and everything. There's some artists whose catalogs I'm not as familiar with as others and stuff. But I let it slide because I feel like I got the main people that I wanted to be on here anyways. And big disclaimer, this list is not in any particular order. We were really just writing them down as they came to our heads and we talked about this list a lot i'm sure there's certain people you're wondering why they're not on the list and i'll kind of get to that at the end but we definitely talked through this list a lot so the ones that i really suggested mariah of course had to be in the list because if you know one thing about me mariah carey is my favorite artist of all time butterfly is like my favorite album of all time what she's just done for r&b music and music at large like i would not be the person i am without mariah so of course mariah has to be on the list like if anyone was going to be on there like she's the first one that comes to mind for me so i was very adamant about mariah being on there of course earth wind and fire was also a suggestion for me absolutely love them and just what they've done for music anita baker i really enjoy her so i'll have to finish up her discography and whitney was one that we really talked about it was like we weren't really so sure because i thought she was more so of a pop artist and more influential in that sphere and just as a vocalist but you know i'm not mad with her being on the list particularly i do like whitney a lot one of the best singers of all time we definitely read on Beyonce. Obviously, she's one of my favorites. Janet Jackson is another one of my favorites. I love Aretha Franklin. Without her, you don't get a Mariah. You don't get a Whitney. Aaliyah has been so insanely influential, so she's one we agreed on. Luther Vandross was one of my suggestions as well. I also said Brandy, and I was a big proponent of SZA on this list. Some people feel like, oh, why should she be on this list if it's about best of all time and blah, blah, blah. Look, I guess SZA only has a few albums, but look at the impact Control has had already. And like I said, SZA doesn't really have competition in contemporary R&B at this point with the amount of, you know, ticket sales she's able to have with the critical acclaim, with what her album did on Billboard 200 and all that. I'm sorry. So yes, of course I had to have SZA in the conversation. And then, you know, this was kind of just about influence on the game. It was also about success and it was about the discography as well. Now, there were some people that everyone was like, why are they not on? Oh, it was like James Brown, The Temptations, maybe a Boys to Men. And some people felt as though Jackson 5 should be on before Michael Jackson or Destiny's Child should be on before Beyonce. There's no like Monica. There's there's no Tony Braxton. But like I said, we like talked all these people out and stuff. You know, like we said Tony Braxton wouldn't be on the list because my friends felt like, well, Anita Baker's on the list and she kind of influenced Tony Braxton and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, we talked about this for like an hour and change and it wasn't really supposed to be that deep and stuff. And I'm definitely down to hear what you guys think of this list and stuff because my friends, they very much disagree with it. We talked about it for a while and stuff and who would be on their list. And I think it's really interesting to kind of see music taste because a lot of them felt like, okay, Pioneer need to be on there i mean i think some of them need to be on there but i think discography matters i think influence matters and it's like personal preference so i mean we all kind of came up with everything but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of this list that my friends and I put together. I'd also love to know your top 25 R&B artists of all time. If you want to just give me a top 5 or top 10, I'd definitely like to see that. But I thought that this was super fun to put together and a really interesting conversation to have. I love R&B music as a whole. So just let me know your thoughts in the comments section and let's continue that. And if you enjoyed the video, like it. It helps a lot. You can leave a comment. You can subscribe to the channel. If you hit the bell, you get notified when I post the video. And I'll also have my main channel, my Charlie XCX Brat review is out now and all my social media as well if you'd like to follow me free palestine we must educate ourselves on this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one